Hi, I'm Annika Johnson from Al Johnson's in Sister Bay. I hope you enjoy my new video series called Door County Girl. These are stories of my life, the people and places that I love, and of course, how we all survive here in Northern Wisconsin. You can come back as often as you like, but don't forget to subscribe to Al's YouTube channel. I'll be posting lots of really cool new videos. So let's go. Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of Door County Girl. And I am back with my brother. Hey there, Rolf. Rolf Johnson. Yes, from Sister Bay, Wisconsin. Yep. Wisconsin Johnson's right here. That's what Karen Hall calls us. Well, she's in my <laughs> neck of the wood these days too, you know. She's my neighbor. I know. I don't give her a jump start the other day. Oh, jeez. So she can go buy a new battery. She probably did that on purpose. Did you get do you have donuts in the car? Well, no, actually what she said is she goes, I showed up there and she goes, What? No bacon? No roast beef sandwich? See? See? <laughs> no, I got jumper cables. That's what you <laughs> asked for. <laughs> Uh, we all know what each other likes, right? Yeah. Okay, I'm all excited today because speaking of, you could have brought her home to your house and you could have served her today this what is we're making. This is a Swedish visiting cake. Now, I ran this by Freddie and he didn't know what it was called in Swedish because he had never heard of such a thing, but I know it's got a Swedish name. Uh, and it's somebody explained it to me that if you unexpectedly had company drop by or you forgot somebody was dropping by and you saw him pull into the driveway, oh, it's going to be fika time because you're going to offer him a cup of coffee, right? Right. And then while you make the coffee, the theory is you can throw this cake together once yeah, you get you good at it. you don't have any cookies set. You didn't realize this yeah, you didn't have was anything, coming yeah, over. So, or if you're going to visit somebody, this is a great idea to bring to their house and say, I brought something. Oh, okay. Now let's fika, right? Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, uh, let's, let's make so it. So here's what we're going to do right out of the gate. I'm going to put one cup of sugar in this bowl and you're going to zest that lemon with that grater. Zest to and, zest. And all that zest is going to go in here. And, and we don't want the white stuff. We just want no, the just, yellow. Yep. And, you, and you want to make sure you get it all from that lemon because that's what the key is to this cake. It's a little bit of almond flavoring and the lemon flavoring. It should jump out at both of them at you. Meanwhile, I am going to mix up two eggs here because we're going to fold those in. Do you ever use a grater and then rake your knuckles on oh, it? Oh, I hate that. Ah! That'll ruin your recipe right there. Yeah, some skin. That's a little skin in there. Wait, is that That's zest? why you use no, zest. That's, that's just my that's fingernail. My don't do that. <laughs> it's, you know, this is almost like an almond uh, tort. In fact, Colleen makes one very similar from Heritage Bakery in Ellison Bay. I got one the other day. Yeah, because I got one two weeks ago, and I thought, hmm, she gave it to me, and I thought, no, my sister you can did have it. Not. I did too. She brought in that and poppy seed, and she gave me choice, so I took the lemon poppy seed this time. Well, what in the world? You gotta be nice. I thanked her for the cake. Well. I thought it was for my mom, so I was, t Lars goes, here's your cake, and I said, for mom? He said, no, Colleen made it for you. I go, really, Colleen made me a cake? Here now, you just burst my bubble. Colleen's amazing. She comes in in the morning with so many goodies, and I try to rival her and Johnny Ostrand, our, our main baker. So Colleen's got her own bakery, Heritage Bakery, and Johnny O has been our longtime baker. But Colleen has her own bakery, but you can't just walk into no, her bakery. No, you got to call ahead of time. She has a yep. Facebook page called Colleen's Heritage Bakery. Yes. It's in Ellison Bay, and she sells to lots of grocery stores like the Pioneer Store, and she sells she to brew coffee. She custom makes things, yep. You can go on Facebook and put an order in, and don't forget to order her cinnamon, the, not the cinnamon, the cardamom coffee cake. Oh, that's the best. I that's out of this there. world. So now go ahead and put that zest in here. All right, look at all that zest. And you're gonna take your fingers and you're gonna crush it together and you're trying to get the oils to go into the sugar. Okay. So it's gonna get look a little damp. I like to and get then, down and dirty on this. And then you should notice like a sweet smell. It should get stronger as you <laughs> do that. There's nothing better than lemon smell. It smells so good right now. All right. 
Is it better than like lemon sorbet? It almost lemon looks ice, like that. Italian ice. Kind of pinch it too. You're trying squeeze to squeeze it into the, the sugar. Yep. <clears throat> okay, now you're gonna take your whisk. Okay. And you're gonna whisk these eggs in there. There's a towel if you need one. I just gonna wash my hands because they're really bad. They smell really good though, my hands. They smell <sighs> lemon so fresh. Go ahead and take that whisk and we're gonna whisk this in there. Okay. And while you're doing that, I'm gonna add the vanilla. See, one teaspoon. Ooh, look at how nice and eggy it is and all that smells delicious. And then we're gonna add a half a teaspoon of almond extract. Could you use lemon extract instead of almond extract? It could be you know, I've, I've a never lemon tried. Cake. You probably could, but I think that what you're looking for is that combination of the two. Okay. It smells delicious. My mom used to always make a cake called a Sunday cake. It's almost like this, but we, you know, she just put like two cups of sugar, two cups of now flour, gonna take two your, eggs. Now you're gonna take your little spatula. Instead of this? Yep, and we're gonna mix this flour in there. So it's one cup of flour, go ahead. And I and bet you Rolf, seeing his visitor is sitting there going through all his belongings in his house when he's not looking, because he's got lots of stuff. A lot of stuff. Yep, lots of interesting stuff. He's whipping up a cake because they're the visitor, and Rolf would be much faster than I am. We're, we're, we're because I'm a little slow here. poke here, a little. Okay. So now you're gonna, this butter is partially melted and partially softened, so you wanna okay. kind of mash it in with all that too, make it, it's all it's not hot, incorporated don't together. Don't put hot no, you don't butter want to do that. in there. You'll end up cooking your eggs. Yeah, you don't want to cook the eggs. And the only thing I did forget is almonds. I need some almonds for the Ooh. finishing. We do need some almonds. And I have a cup here. Put those in there. This looks great. You know, and Swedish cakes, we don't put like baking soda in them and baking powder in these cakes. They're more like a pound cake. Yeah, there's no. They're not uh, like a, no a rising. rising cake. Nope. There's usually not a rising. Which probably cake. cooks faster. You know, I mean, I think. Okay, I think that's good. And throw this extra flour. No, so did good. Oh, by the way, I forgot to tell you, I am actually using a gluten free, for, and I've never made it with it before, so we're going to try it out. Gluten free? Well, just because I got a couple things that are one for one, and I thought we well, may geez. have to save a piece for Brit. Brit Maltby. Oh, she, she would yeah, love that's it. right. Yeah. We better put it when I ride my electric bike by her you house. Can swing by. Yeah, she's got an electric bike too, okay. so my dog goes and hangs out with hers. I've got a piece of parchment paper that I cut down to a nine inch pan and you're gonna put that in there. Yeah and you know what we like using parchment paper because then it doesn't stick this to the This is a really 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 sticky cake otherwise. Yes. It won't be when you eat it but it'll stick like crazy. And you don't want to have it so you can't get it out of the pan. And I like to put a little oil down on below the parchment that way it doesn't slide around. Exactly. If you get a convection oven the wind will blow it around from the fan moving around. Again. You gotta try to make it easy for yourselves people. Go ahead and just smear that around. Okay. I used to bake at Al's, you know. Very good baker. I am a good baker. I'm a better eater. I'll tell you a story when uh, we used to go in there at night when I was oh, a kid. <laughs> you stink. And Johnny O used to bake all our cherry pies at night. And that's when the menu used to be a la carte. All right, I'm sorry, before it was a la carte. Yeah. Remember when you got the full dinner, you got dessert included? Yeah. So we're in there playing poker one night with me and my buddies. And we had the back door open. Remember the days in the summer, the door was always open? Well, he had a dog in his truck. Who had so a my, dog in his truck? my buddy, Jim Sequist. Oh, Sequist Trouble. Orchards. His name was Trouble. Trouble. And Johnny O finished up and he said, don't forget to lock up, boys. And he put all his pies out on the counter to cool. Oh, no. I know where this and is we going. went to go play poker in the dining room. <laughs> oh, my God. 
And Trouble must have got scent of it and jumped out of the truck and he came in there and he ate all the tops off all the cherry pies. Of course, we didn't notice. We left on the way out the door. We saw, oh boy. And we had to call Johnny O back up so that was around 1 in the morning. We were leaving about 3.30. We had to call him back up. We had to come back down and bake all oh, the pies again. Oh, he was <laughs> mad. Oh, my God. He was so mad, I bet, you guys. So now you're just sprinkling some almonds yep. on there. And if you're allergic to nuts, don't put them on there. Yep. Put a little... Um, what could you put on there instead? You could. This would be good with a zest, or and, and it, a, add a and little think, more lemon zest on the yep, top. And you could maybe, maybe get by with like uh, a coconut. And I know, like Freddie, for instance, he can eat coconut, and he's allergic to nuts. Mm -hmm. So here we got it. Normally, I'd put some sugar on top as well. I don't think it needs but it. But it doesn't need it. And the other thing you can do is, in the end, you can serve it with that. Remember that vanilla sugar that we have? Yeah. That's good on top of here, too. But we're looking to get the uh, almonds roasted. So this is going to go in the oven at 350 degrees for about 15 minutes and check it. Now, fortunately, I have one baking already, and it should be done right about now. So that one's going to be cooking, and I can pull the other one out. You got a plate there, Annika, and a knife? Yep, I have a plate and a knife. I got that. And I'm gonna get... So I'm gonna take a piece of paper towel, pop this thing off of there. And see how much easier it will come out if you use parchment paper? You just have to peel off the parchment paper, and voila. No sticking to the pan, no sticking. Perfect cake. There's nothing worse is when half of the cake is still in the pan. Then you gotta use frosting to cover it all up. Now fortunately, <laughs> I also got some coffee that I brought with. You have some what? Coffee, if we're gonna fika. Oh, you're... Oh, you have a little fika pot over there. You want to grab us two coffee cups. Oh, boy. Fika schmika. I have my coffee cup here because you were late as usual today, and so I had to have a cup of coffee just waiting for you. Ralph's always late, people. So if you're inviting him over for dinner, you might want to tell him it's at 4 cause he, and if you want to eat at 5. Right, Ralph? Yeah, but I'll, I'll read into that, too. He finally will figure it out. People try that. Oh, what's up with that thing? Just turn it just a little bit. OK. We have four pieces out here because, of course, our cameraman and our number one fan back there are going to have one after we're yep. done sampling it ourselves. <laughs> and he loves everything we make. I don't think he's ever said ick to anything. Well, he might be super polite, too, but. Yeah. Wondering, we're wondering now, because he's always lets us use his kitchen. Yes. Because Rolf and I don't have a not. A this is set up kitchen. perfect. This is beautiful <laughs> to set up. All right. And I suppose you could use whipped cream if you like. So look, it's almost like a pound cake. Oh, you could make that. Yeah, that cream that you know, we like, made too. Yeah, or just a little dollop of fresh whipped cream on top. Or. Mm, what do you think? Really good. Good for fika. You know what? It almost tastes like you put marzipan in there. You know the paste? Yeah. Because it's got that consistency. Because again, it's not a puffy cake. No. It's a, like a pound cake. You know what makes this cake excellent? You know, I like crunchy pizza. I like crunchy cereal. I like crunchy nuts. I like crunchy stuff. My, I, my teeth don't like crunchy stuff, right. but I do. But the top is mm -hmm. crunchy. It's almost like meringue. Yep. Is that because of the eggs and the sugar? Eggs and the sugar. It is so good. Mm. And a lot of people, I, and I recommend this as well, if you get that ultra fine sugar, mm -hmm. and just dust the top of it before you bake it. Kind of like when Johnny O bakes his cherry pies. And you know what? Typically, Ralph and I are just being really polite right nah, now. You, Ralph no, and I'll I are doing this. <laughs> <laughs> Eat it like a pizza. Is that a donut? <laughs> 
you know, why do yeah. it? Why because do it? And then pour? you can go like this. And then you dunk it in your coffee. And look what I got. Mm. Fim fim. <laughs> fim fim is a word that Ralph made up. I didn't make it up. Eating salt Swedes call the little crumbs at the bottom of your cup is called fim fim. If you dip your donut, your cookie, whatever, your lemon bar, your, your visitor's cake, you get those crumbs in the bottom, and that's called fim fim. Okay, Monica, uh, Madeline, Annika, Nicholas, Paul, Magnus. Karen, all my cousins in Sweden, there's no such thing as fim fim, right? No, it's not true. They, they just don't know old Sweden like I do. Oh boy. But anyhow, I think uh, you guys are gonna enjoy this. I think you at home will enjoy making this, another simple, super re easy recipe to make. And Again, somebody sneaks up on you, it's time to make something for Fika, or if you're going to somebody's house, if you guys want Rolf's gift. address to sneak over yeah. and visit with Rolf, just let me know. <laughs> he would be a definitely whip up a cake like this and have coffee In with no you any time. time of day, right? If, if, yep, if we're drinking coffee, mm -hmm. I'm there. Mm -hmm. Love it. All right, well, that is our ending of our, don't eat it all. What? That's oh what I made God. it for. Ah. <sighs> That ends another episode of Door County Girl, everyone. Ralph and I are going to continue to fika here, but we're going to say goodbye. And hey, do and don't forget to like and subscribe. Exactly. And then you can get some more recipes from us or meet some really great people that we have interviewed around Door County. Or just Door County Girl out and about doing her business. That's right. Get me out there. Get me out there. That's my social outlet. Ooh, ooh. All right. Skull, Ralph. Skull. Skull. Good cake. Titter that I'm from Fim Fim. Oh, you see, you see. You ask us sip from in Fim Fim. Do you like our Swedish? <laughs> How do you even know we're speaking Swedish? <laughs> <laughs> Bye, everyone. Uh -huh. Hey, hey. Yet to got, yet to got. You're going to get shockies. Not okay. Ah. Thanks for watching Door County Girl. Don't forget to subscribe and we will see you next time.